Okay, we're testing your hypothesis. This is a moderately compressed cylinder inside here of that TPA powder. Screenshot time. This one too. Okay, goodbye. On, the, on each end, we have a very thin plaster ring, right? Well, that one kind of mm -hmm. fell out already. Now, this hole in the center goes through this composition and then into the back of this side of the composition. The I don't care. <laughs> Can you see inside of those things? Yes. So you see how that is? Mm -hmm. this, this here is a fast burning visco fuse, which I primed with our primer blend. And then I took a piece of shrink wrap and I plugged the end, or no, I shrunk wrap it to the fuse and then I scooped up the primer powder. So this is literally a cylinder of that primer powder that we made. Mm -hmm. And okay, quick digression. This is that primer composition. It is three parts antimony trisulfide. This is 200 mesh. One part potassium chlorate. I'm gonna shake that up. I'm gonna show you how that burns. Very gentle and beautiful. Just like me. So this is how we make the primer for this specific device. Use a heat gun if you have it. That was close. We have the cylinder attached to this fuse. This is a slow burning visco. Not fast like I say in the video. All right, so that is filled to the top. Now we take a dab of CA glue. Two P ten is less reactive than traditional CA glue, which can sometimes spontaneously ignite if it's exposed to certain powders. But this has an activator. Which you can spray all over your chemicals. Now we're gonna use PVA glue, just clear school glue. And just coat this section of fuse here. Super thin coating. we're just gonna dust this end of the visco fuse with this same primer. Now the reason we do this is to increase the security of it igniting with a pull string igniter. So we're gonna let this dry. And here's the pull string igniter. It's still attached to the punch because I wanna keep it dilated. I sell kits for these on inventionincarnate.com. They're 40 bucks, 50 of these igniters. So we just thread this end of the visco fuse into here. Well, I'm obsessed with these things. It literally gives you the ability to grenadify anything. Well, that flew off into the sunset. Here, I'll hold it this time.
Okay, I've shot this about three times. I'm going to tell you right now, it's just better to take that three to one mix, put it in a cup with a little bit of PVA glue, stir it up, and coat the fuse. Yeah, don't, don't worry about that stupid tube idea. That's dumb. The reason I do those little tubes is because I don't, I'm too impatient to wait for PVA glue to dry. Usually if you use nitrocellulose lacquer, it kind of uh, is a little bit too much uh, when it goes off. Or, you know, the PVA glue acts, you know, cools down the, the burn a little bit. But we're just going to coat a blob of this onto this fuse and then see how that goes. Hey, that's enough. Okay, PVA glue is dry. Here's how this burns. We made. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to set this through here, run it through the core, and then get it in the hole on the way back. Mm -hmm. So now this should ignite both this, yep. this side and the bottom from the center. And then I'm going to attach the normal time fuse pole ring ignition here. Then these are the vent caps that we can cap the thing with. Or I'll just glue these in place. And we'll have to put a sticker to cover the But That's our, that's your idea. I think I've executed it. The end. There we go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Got to amp it up a bit, I think. And oh, this is the lactose formula. All right, that was subdued. Our next video is going to be this dual vent design with sucrose. And we're going to see if we can get this to go a little faster.